Today on Hot News, the economy is looking, well, a little hungover. But I'll tell you about an industry where things are looking bright. Up in the sky, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a giant naked baby. I'm David from People Magazine, and I'm going to tell you the hottest celebrity stories this week. Sit back and enjoy the hot news. Here are today's top stories. A big day for the Democrats. Voters hit the polls to cast their ballots in the Pennsylvania primary. It's a make-or-break situation for Clinton. She needs to win big to seriously stay in the race. Despite what the White House has been saying, a new report by the Academy of Sciences says that exposure to smog, even short term, is linked to premature death. In a case that dates back to the 80s, U.S. officials arrested an American engineer today for possibly spilling secrets to Israel about fighter jets, nuclear weapons, and missiles. The country of Georgia is asking the U.N. for help after saying Russia shot down one of its spy planes. Russia tried to deny the incident, but the Georgian military released a video they say proves it. Osama's number two released a two-hour audio tape today. He claimed al-Qaeda is planning an attack and basically threatens every country that, quote, joined aggression on Islam. Lastly, an unusual move even for G-Dub. The president appeared on the NBC game show Deal or No Deal last night. He apparently even joked about a deal no deal based on the $3 trillion federal budget. Today's Earth Day, and it's also the big presidential primary in Pennsylvania. How are these two connected? Well, both Obama and Clinton have vowed to create millions of new green-collar jobs. Those are jobs that have to do with the environment and energy efficiency. For instance, organic food production, eco-friendly architecture and construction, and new ways of recycling. So if you're still thinking about a career, remember that there could be a lot of green in green. Which of the following is a real course in Occidental College in Los Angeles? Is it A, brand management? how Old Spice and Axe shaped a generation of men. B, road rage, or C, stupidity. The answer is C, stupidity. You'll learn how stupidity, quote, makes itself felt in the political life ranging from the presidency to Beavis and Butthead. Ironically, Beavis is spelled wrong in the course catalog. Now who's stupid? It's Tuesday, and you know what that means, new albums. The great Elvis Costello is releasing Momofuku. It's on vinyl only, but I'm sure it'll turn up on the net too. It's business time for Flight of the Concords, who are coming out with their studio debut. Fans of their HBO show already know and love the music. Ashley Simpson releases her third album, Bittersweet World. Your little sister will be listening to that all summer. And here's the biggie, Whitesnake is blessing us with their first album in 10 years, Good To Be Bad. The International Kite Festival was recently held in Thailand. Kite enthusiasts from 15 countries met up to show off their creations. The kites range from this octopus, to this really long dragon, to this creepy naked baby. I can only imagine how confused the birds were. Ever wonder how Puff Daddy got his unusual nickname? I'll tell you just after this. When the man now known as Diddy didn't get his way as a child, he used to huff and puff. That's why a friend gave him the nickname Puffy. Guys, if you want a sunless tan, you gotta make sure you do it right. And as much as we love the Oompa Loompas, that look, not so much. Details Magazine says first you need to exfoliate. I know, you're thinking, huh? Well, basically, get a scrub that contains sea salt or bamboo and scrub away the dead skin. Next, you have to apply the sunless tanner. Use wipes or a foam tanner. They are thinner and easier to apply, so you'll have less streaking. Lastly, and this is very important, give it time to dry. If you must put on some clothes, make sure it's ratty old sweats and a t-shirt you don't care about. 
Hot News travels the globe to find the hottest stories. Okay, we're only three blocks from the office, but still E for effort. Right now I'm stopping by People Magazine to find out the top entertainment stories of the week. People's staff editor David Kaplan is going to give us the goods in under 60 seconds. Ready, David? Let's do it. Okay, and go. Kate Hudson and Owen Wilson, on again, off again, and now on again? That's right, they spent a weekend in Boston and they were inseparable. They went for brunch together, they got pizza together, they had a late lunch together, and in fact, a friend of hers tells people that these two definitely want to be together, so expect a lot more sightings. Yeah, they're so cute. Kirsten Dunst, fresh from rehab, how's she holding up? She's doing great, a friend of her tells people. In fact, Kirsten actually bought a new apartment in Tribeca in Manhattan, and the friend tells people that she'd never looked better and she's a whole new person. What's going on with Project Run Runway judge Nina Garcia. Nina is out as the fashion director at Elle magazine, but a source tells people that she was pushed out. The magazine, though, says they're still looking for a place for the magazine. But don't worry, she'll be back as a judge next season. Lastly, Ashley Simpson, is she or isn't she Prego? She is pregnant and she's engaged to her rocker fiance, Pete Wentz. In fact, a source close to the family tells people expect a wedding in May at a friend's place in California. Okay, time's up. To find out more about these stories, check out the new issue of People on newsstands now. Thanks, David. Thanks. Just a reminder, Catchphrase Me If You Can ends May 1st. That gives you only one more week to write a clever sign-off line for me. If you come up with our favorite, you'll get 500 bucks. So start brainstorming and email your entry to us at feedback at hotnews.tv. I'll end today's show, though, by trying out a random entry. I pity the fools who don't watch hot news. That's not going to win.